I expect there to be significant impact on jobs, but exactly what that impact looks like is very difficult to predict. There is a misconception when it comes that uh, AI will replace a human. And I don't want to pretend that there will be no job loss, there will be some job loss. With the AI job reset underway, it's crucial to understand how the job market is evolving, which jobs are at risk, and which ones are already feeling the impact. Instead of just guessing, as many people do, Henley Wing did the work for us. He looked at freelance jobs on Upwork from November 2022, just before ChatGPT came out, until February 2024, to identify which jobs have been most affected. He looked through 5 million job ads on the freelancing site Upwork to see which jobs people aren't looking for as much anymore. What he found was both predictable and unexpected. The need for writers took a big hit. Surprisingly, over the last 15 months, the demand for most jobs went up, except for three areas that saw a decrease, writing, translation, and customer service. Specifically, writing jobs dropped by 33%, translation jobs went down by 19%, and there were 16% fewer customer service jobs available. This shows a clear shift in what kinds of jobs are becoming less needed in the current job market. The decrease in demand for writers is straightforward to understand. ChatGPT is a leading name in artificial intelligence, and its ability to write is what makes it stand out. This skill is the most recognizable, easy to use, and common aspect of artificial intelligence that people interact with daily. The drop in demand for writers didn't happen overnight. It started to go down last August, which was 10 months after ChatGPT was released. This was because it took a while for enough people to get good at using it. It makes sense that both small and big business owners would want to use artificial intelligence like ChatGPT to handle writing tasks before paying for a writer, or they might ask the writers they already employ to do more work. On the flip side, it's quite unexpected to see jobs in graphic design video editing, production, and software development increasing, especially with all the stories about people using ChatGPT to create code, drawings, and even complete videos. OpenAI has unveiled its new text-to-video model. It's calling it Sora. Video was generated by AI. It's from a new tool just announced a few hours ago by OpenAI called Sora. Sora, a text-to-video generative AI model powered by OpenAI, is a prime example of AI's capability. We might see its effect on video production and even Hollywood faster than we thought. An example of the impact of OpenAI's text-to-video model Sora on the film industry is Tyler Perry's decision to put a $800 million studio expansion on hold due to the technology's potential to replace traditional film production methods. So far, the news industry has lost 2,700 jobs. This figure covers jobs in TV, online, and newspaper sectors. Many news organizations, including the Washington Post, NPR, BuzzFeed News, Vox, and the Texas Tribune, have had to let go of staff this year. Just recently, KCRW in Santa Monica, California, began giving options for voluntary leaving, and Condé Nast said it would be cutting jobs at Wired, as shared by the unions for journalists at these places. 40% of the world now interacts with AI. In the past, automation and IT mainly changed jobs that involved repeating the same task over and over. However, AI is different because it can also take on jobs that require a lot of skill. This means countries with advanced economies, like the US and Europe, are more at risk from AI because it can do the work of highly skilled people. But these countries also have more chances to use AI to their advantage. Unlike countries with emerging markets and developing economies, in developed countries, AI could affect about 60% of jobs. About half of these jobs could get better with AI, making work more productive. However, for the other half, AI might take over important tasks that people do now, which could mean fewer jobs are needed. This could lead to lower pay and less hiring. In the worst case scenario, some jobs might completely vanish. In developing countries and low-income nations, the impact of AI is predicted to be less at 40% and 26% respectively. This means that these places might not face as many immediate changes because of AI. However, many of these countries lack the necessary technology and skilled workers to take advantage of AI. This could lead to a situation where the gap between rich and poor countries grows larger over time because of how differently they're able to use AI. Now, let's talk about the jobs AI will replace or change during the AI job reset. 
HubSpot report indicates that 417 500 jobs were lost between January and May 2023, with an estimated 3,900 of them attributed to automation by artificial intelligence. Time isn't helping workers either. Over the next years, more American jobs could disappear. We're starting a revealing trip into how jobs are quickly changing because of artificial intelligence. The old days of being sure about your job are over. We're stepping into a time when AI isn't just a handy tool. It's a major force that's completely transforming the job landscape. Let's dive into this change. We're going to explore the top 10 jobs that AI is expected to replace in the next years. The first job on our list is video production. AI is taking over video production jobs and changing the way videos are made, from editing to creating visual effects. It can automate tasks like cutting scenes together, color correction, and even generating realistic animations or background. Did you see how Sora can create videos? Instead of the person editing video clips, adding music, or putting in subtitles, Sora can do all that by itself. This means jobs that involve repetitive editing tasks or basic production steps will be done by AI, reducing the need for so many video producers and editors. AI is not gonna replace humans. Humans with AI will replace humans that don't use AI. Moving on to number nine, AI is becoming more efficient at handling data entry jobs, which are often repetitive and involve typing information into computers. Because AI can quickly process and organize large amounts of data without getting tired or making mistakes, many traditional data entry tasks can now be automated. This shift means that people who used to do these jobs are no longer needed. For instance, AI can now extract information from various documents and input it into databases. It's also transforming invoice management by digitizing and categorizing invoice data automatically, updating customer information in CRM systems without manual input, and transcribing audio from meetings or interviews into accurate text documents. Number eight, drivers. Over the next decade, AI technology is expected to advance to a point where it can safely operate vehicles without human intervention. This includes not just personal cars, but also taxis, delivery trucks, and even big rigs on highway. As self-driving technology becomes more reliable and widespread, jobs that involve driving for a living, such as taxi drivers, truck drivers, and bus drivers, could significantly decrease. This shift could lead to more efficient and possibly safer transportation options. But it also means that many people who currently earn their living by driving might need to find new types of work. Moving on to number seven, which is the cashier job. The role of cashiers is also likely to change drastically in the next 10 years due to AI and automation. More stores and restaurants are introducing self-checkout systems and automated ordering kiosks, which allow customers to make purchases without interacting with a human cashier. When these technologies become more common and sophisticated, the traditional job of a cashier taking payments, giving change, and processing transactions could become much less common. This shift aims to make shopping and dining out faster and more efficient, but it also means there will be fewer jobs available for people who work as cashiers. In the next decade, the job of travel agents will be affected by AI and online booking platforms. With the rise of websites and apps that let people compare and book flights, hotels, and vacation packages on their own, the need for traditional travel agents is decreasing. AI systems are becoming better at understanding customer preferences and can provide personalized travel suggestions and handle bookings automatically. This convenience and efficiency mean that more people are likely to plan and book their trips online, reducing the demand for human travel agents. While there may still be a niche for specialized travel planning, the overall number of jobs in this field is expected to decline. Number five, manufacturing workers. AI and robotics are set to transform the manufacturing industry even further. Robots and automated systems are becoming more capable of performing complex tasks that were previously done by humans, including assembling products, quality control, and even packing and shipping items. These technologies can work around the clock without breaks, increasing production efficiency, and reducing the need for a large human workforce on the factory floor. While there will still be a need for people in supervisory, maintenance, and programming roles, the overall number of traditional manufacturing jobs, particularly those involving manual labor, is expected to decrease as automation becomes more prevalent. Number four, farmers. 
agriculture is another sector where AI and automation are making big changes, which could lead to fewer jobs for traditional farmers in the next decade. Advanced technologies like drones, precision farming equipment, and AI-driven analytics can monitor crop health, manage fields, and even harvest crops more efficiently than human labor alone. These innovations help to increase farm productivity and can reduce the need for manual labor in tasks like planting, weeding, and harvesting. While technology can support farmers in making more informed decisions and potentially lead to more sustainable farming practices, it may also reduce the number of people needed to work directly in the fields. Number three, pharmacist. In the upcoming years, getting your medicine could be as easy as getting a soda from a vending machine at work. AI is already changing how pharmacies work, with big hospitals using huge machines that can fill prescriptions quickly. Big pharmacy stores are getting smaller machines that work like vending machines too. The main good things about using robots in pharmacies are that they make fewer mistakes, keep patients safer, and let human pharmacists spend more time talking to patients. Hospitals and big pharmacy companies like this technology because it can cut down on costs from government rules and the need for ongoing training for their staff. Number 2. Astronauts Landing on the moon was a huge moment in American history, but the next big step in exploring space might be taken by a robot, not a person. AI is changing transportation, and it's similar in space. Google and NASA have already sent robots to the International Space Station and NASA has been using robots to explore Mars for 10 years. Robots are really good for space exploration because they can go farther and last longer than humans. They can also handle extreme conditions that would be too much for people. Using robots means scientists can take bigger risks without worrying about human safety. This will change a lot of jobs, and the dream of becoming an astronaut might be different in the future as AI and robots start to take over these roles. Number one, journalists and writers. Finally, AI is starting to impact the field of journalism in significant ways. It's now replacing journalists. For example, AI can write simple news articles about sports scores or stock market updates without much human help. It can also analyze vast amounts of data to uncover trends that might take humans much longer to find potentially replacing roles focused on data-heavy reporting. Did you know that some online articles, like those on Forbes about sports or business, are written by computers? Additionally, AI tools are being used to generate news summaries or even produce content for social media posts. While these technologies can handle certain reporting tasks, the nuanced and investigative aspects of journalism, which require a deep understanding of human experiences and critical analysis, still need the human touch. But in the next years, we can expect AL to completely take over journalist work. The effect of AI and automation on the worldwide job market is quite concerning. What do you think will happen? If you liked this video, hit the like button and watch the recommended videos I've selected just for you.